My brother, my brother, how are you? One second, one second, one second. You, one second, brother. One second. Let me, okay, let me look. One second, brother. Brother, one second. I, I, but yo, there's nothing way more important than the word of God. Get, 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 get me the, 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 the graven image. Let me show you something. What, let me ask you this. Why do you wear a cross? Uh, it's because of swag. Oh, because of swag? Yeah. Oh, so it, it has nothing to do with Christ and anything like that? No. Alright, but let me show you this. And even if it's because of swag, right? Yeah. Let me ask you this. If Christ was killed with a spear, would you, would you, would you, would you wear a spear? As swag? For example, how our people, they wear this cross and when you ask them, they say, no, because I believe in Christ, right? Yeah. Christ was killed on the cross, right? That was the back then when you do research, that was Roman capital punishment for anybody. Christ was not the first or the last person to be crucified on the cross. You know that? He was not. Black people, we don't do research. We just follow what the world does. Did you, do you have it? Read this. Listen to this. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image uh -huh. of any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or there is an earth beneath that that right there which you're wearing my brother is a graven image that's right do you understand yes you said you're wearing it for swag that's why i had to ask you that do, do you know why because when you wear that you are also partaking and saying that you are in agreement with how christ was crucified and, and punished on that cross so that is a graven image read on listen to this Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image uh -huh. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above uh -huh. or there is an earth beneath uh -huh. or that is in the water under the earth. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Now, let me say, let me say this. You can you, you can wear chains for swag. I also like chains. Eh? I, I buy chains too. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But I'll never buy. I'll never wear a chain that that has a capital punishment of our Messiah and how he was crucified. I wouldn't wear. That. Hey, let's get one more scripture for the brother before he leaves. Get me the uh, what prophet of the graven image. Get me that scripture. I want to show you because at the end of the day, maybe not you, yeah. but maybe there's someone out there listening. A lot of our people like wearing crosses on their necks, but it is it has nothing to do with Christ. That's why we read the law. Do you understand? In the law, in the amongst the Ten Commandments, we're not supposed to wear graven images. And you said you 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 love Christ, right? Christ doesn't expect you to wear that Habakkuk according to the two bible Habakkuk 2 and verse 18 now listen to this now listen to what the prophets are saying about this read this is the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 18 uh -huh. what prophet the graven image uh -huh. that the maker thereof had graven it what prophet lies because some people wait that they believe they say they, they, they are safe well, most Christians when they wear a cross they think they're safe like uh, nothing can happen to me because I'm wearing a cross what does the bible say what prophet? The graven image. The Bible says, what prophet is there in you wearing a graven image? Read. That the maker thereof has graven it. That the maker thereof has, made, has graven it. Meaning what? This is man-made. It can break. It can get lost. It can rust away. What prophet is there in you wearing it or someone else wearing it believing they will be safe from any dangers out there? Is God the one that made it? No. Man made that. Do you understand? Read. The molten image. The molten image. And the teachers of lies. The teacher of lies. Like this image right here. This is a teacher of lies. Black people believe Christ is white. Just go to their churches and see the images they have in their churches. They have an image of a white man. And when you ask them, is Christ white? They say, no, it, 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 it's not important. It doesn't matter. So why do they have an image of a white man in their churches if the image doesn't matter? That is called social engineering. In our minds, we're already destroyed. So you know what happens? When, the, when we close our eyes and pray, guess who I'm seeing right now? A white Jesus of that because of that so now with you and the graven image you know it, that it profits you nothing whether you wait or not because either way the lord only looks at how you're going to keep his commandments should you continue wearing the graven image that's my question to you because of swear yeah so you 
die because of swag. No. Oh. <laughs> so, okay. Because of swag, yes? What? Yes. Uh, because of swag, I think, yeah. Brother, let me tell you something, bro. You look like a king right now as well. Oh. You don't need to wear a cross on your neck to amplify that swag. <laughs> You can keep, you can keep the the, the, the the chain, but you don't need to wear that. That's right. That's right. Oh, I'll just, I'll just find that. You find, okay. You you gonna find a replacement? Prove it right now. How are you gonna find the replacement? I'm gonna remove it. Okay, remove it. Let's see. No, now after I found it. Oh my days, my brother. Hey, listen, at least at least we tried to get through to you, man. Guess what? We've washed your blood off our heads. At least we showed you. You understand? What's your name? Okay. Okay. Uh, pleased to meet you, man. Get the flyer, you know, contact us. Right? Get in touch, man. Our numbers are down there at the bottom. Check here. Uh, turn it. There, right there, right there. The numbers are there. Contact us, man, and come and learn your nationality, who you are, your heritage. You understand? You see that? Now, since since now, you see, I can see you in the spirit now. Let me ask you. Did you know? Did between these two images, which one do which one do you think Christ is? Based on what? Get Revelation one and verse fourteen. Based on. Jesus Christ was an African. Jesus Christ was an African. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the Bible says. Whether Jesus Christ was an African. Okay, hold that. Uh, hold. Get uh, Hebrews seven and verse fourteen. Let's see if Jesus Christ was an African. Because guess what? And it's okay. I understand why you're saying that. Yes, because the events of the Bible all happened in Africa, first of all. But listen to this. Listen to this. Contrary to popular belief, listen to this. Read. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. That is talking about Christ. Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Do you understand? Like me and you and all these other people that are walking blindly, they don't know that we are the children of Israel. That's who we are. We are not Africans. Do you understand? Hey, get the Zondervan Bible Dictionary on him. I want to show you. This is why it's important to know history. Everybody says they're Africans. We are not all Africans. We are deriving from the 12 tribes of Israel. That's, That's where we derive from. Yeah. Now watch this. Get now. Now read Revelation 1 verse 14, right for the brother. He says he believes that's Christ because Christ was an African. So that, hey, that shows what? That Christ was what? Was black. And we haven't even read the scripture yet. Right? Let me hold that for him. Now read this. Revelation 1 and verse 14. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 1 verse 14. Hey, bro brother Kennedy, please come hold this. Hold this image up here. The, the, the image of uh, the King of Kings. Hold it up. Hold it up quickly. All right, read this again. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his head were white like wool. So the Bible says, Christ's head and hairs were white like wool. Which race of people have woolly hair? Say it like, please say it on the mic. Black. Black people have woolly hair. Read it again. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Christ's head and hairs were white like wool. But let's compare to something here. When you look at these images that are found in our churches, do you see any woolly hair here, Daddy? Do you see any woolly hair there? Do you see any woolly hair there? I see straight stringy hay. That's what I see. Nasty hay. That's what I see. Read it again, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Christ's head and hairs were white like wool. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Read. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Wait a minute. Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire. Eyes that are red like fire. When I look at this image right here, I see blue eyes. I see blue eyes. That's what I see. That's what I see. Read that part again. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ's eyes were as a flame 
of fire. What are we reading and revealing? The true identity and image of the King of Kings. That's right. The Black Messiah. Uh, contrary to popular belief, a lot of you believe that Christ is white. Today you're finding out that Christ is actually a black man. The brother right here, he even knew it before we even read the Bible. We had to show him the context though, because a lot of us think we are African. Read verse 14 again. His head and his heads were white as a like wool. Uh-huh. As white as snow. Come down, come down. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh -huh. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. What is Christ's first miracle? What is Christ's first miracle? Turned water into wine. That was the first miracle. He turned water into wine. Read it again. His head and his hair were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow, Read. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire because he drank wine. When you read Genesis 49 and 12, Moses prophesies of Christ coming back with red eyes. That's, right. That's not saying that he Christ came back with fire shooting out his eyes. Christ's feet, John looks at Christ's feet, right? Like the brother right here standing here, if he was to take off his socks, the color of his skin would be uh, of his feet would be the same as what his face do you understand what i'm saying like this see the same way you see this and you see my face it's the same right john says when he looks at christ's feet when he looks christ's feet were what read verse 15 again and his feet like unto a fine breast uh -huh. as if they burn it in a furnace as if they burnt in a furnace you know the element brass right you know the element brass when you burn it what color does it turn what you gotta say it loud brother Blair. it turns what black if i take even a five cent coin a 20 cent coin if i start burning it what color does it turn uncle it turns black it turns black what are we reading read it again for the brothers and his feet like unto a fine breast uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace what are we proving that according to the bible christ is a black man That's now get get song of solomon one and five before he goes i want to show you king solomon is, is from the same lineage as christ do you understand that makes him christ great 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 grandfather That's right. what color was king solomon if christ was black what color is king solomon that's the question watch this read this song of solomon chapter one started with read verse one and then jump up to five these are songs of solomon chapter one verse one uh -huh. the songs of the songs of song which is solomon's the song of songs which is solomon's read verse five i am black what i am black what is king solomon saying i am black king solomon says i am black we but calmly that's where we get black and beautiful from a lot of us black people like saying i am black and what beautiful right we're getting it from the bible the word calmly means beautiful king solomon is saying i am black and beautiful that's what he's saying we read it again verse 5 i am black but calmly uh -huh. all ye daughters of jerusalem uh -huh. as the tent of Kedar, as the tent of what Kedar. hey you, you got your phone? You got data? You don't have data. Officer, take out your phone, show him, that, search on Google what color the tents of Kedar are. Oh my days, nobody's got their phones on them. Damn! We should have shown the brothers right here so they believe more. Should, hey, get, get Job chapter 30 and verse 30. Job chapter, you can put this down, put it down. Brother Kennedy, search for tents of Kedar on your Google quickly so you can show the brother before he goes. Now watch this. If King Solomon was black, if Christ was black, what about the, the prophet Job? Read this. This is the book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. Uh -huh. My skin is black upon me. That is the prophet Job that is saying that. Read it again. My skin is black upon me. The prophet Job says he is black. That's according to the Bible. 
Bible. Nobody knows these things. Nobody wants to search out what the Bible is got hidden in them. Because we're far too busy getting drunk, smoking weed, chasing women, getting them pregnant, and then we leave. That's why we don't even know the basic things that are in the Bible. Read it again. My skin, my skin is black upon me, uh -huh. and my bones are burnt with heat. And my bones are burnt with heat. Did you find it? Not yet. Oh, come on, that's easy. Just search tent of Kedar. Now get Jeremiah 14 and verse 2. Remember, Christ is from the tribe of? Of, of the tribe. Yeah, yeah, which tribe is that? Judah. Christ is from the tribe of Judah. Now watch this. Jeremiah 14 and verse 2. What color are the Jews of the Bible? We. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah moaneth, and the gaze therefore language. Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. Judah moaneth, the gaze there of language. They are what? They are black unto the ground. Christ is from the tribe of Judah. The Bible says the Jews are are black according to the Bible now who are those imposters in Israel right now those are not the people of God those are not the Jews of the Bible that's the synagogue of Satan that's what they're there now the real owners of Jerusalem today is you and me that's right but we don't even know we out here walking around crazy doing crazy stuff in the streets we don't know where our homeland is Nation is you.